Anambra State House of Assembly has passed a resolution urging Governor Chukuma Saludo to direct all ministries, departments and agencies to pay special attention to those living with disability who are qualified for employment during recruitment. The resolution was equal to a motion presented to the effect by the Governor represent by the member representing Newi North Constituency, Mr. Augustine E.K. Dwari Plenary in Oka, House of Assembly Correspondent Chukwe Mecca Modelem was there, and his report is taken from our studios. In the motion, Mr. E.K. noted that the Ministries of Health and Education are currently concluding a transparent exercise to recruit more Indian Ambra into education as teachers and health workers, respectively. The legislator expressed worry that the physically challenged and those with albinism who have worked hard to acquire education may not have a voice to protect their interests given the current realities on ground. He maintained that the consideration of the physically challenged and those living with albinism for employment will restore confidence of those living with disability in the government of Anambra State and urge citizens to give them equal opportunities to reduce poverty. On his part, the member representing Anambra West constituency, Mr. Patrick Udoba, also stressed the need for special attention to be given to those with disabilities who are qualified and competent in the recruitment exercise. Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Somtochuku Udeze, described the motion as act and read out the resolution of the House while the lawmakers supported it through a voice note. Also at plenary, the House passed a bill for a law to establish private college of nursing sciences and midwifery in Anambra State. Also at plenary, the House passed a bill for a law to establish private college of nursing sciences and midwifery in Anambra State presented by the majority leader and member representing Ekusigo constituency, Mr. Ikenna. Of for the man.